Joining us this morning is former LTD Brands President and CEO Jay Margolis. Jay, good morning. Good morning, Carol. How are you? I'm doing well. I want to talk about HP because there's been so much going on with this company, a very public bidding war for, for um, Dell to buy 3PAR and then the uh, HP Oracle, Mark Hurd thing. What do you think about the HP brand at this point? I mean, the HP brand is a, is a great brand. Mark Hurd did an amazing job in getting it on track and to compete in the market and had great results. Uh, losing him, I think, is a big loss for HP. They now have to rebound their acquisitions, how they make those acquisitions blend into the company. Is Mark it not seemed good, good that, at that. Is it not good that they're not playing so nice right now? No, I think everybody plays nice for Mark, doesn't play nice for market share. We all go after market share. We all do what we have to do to, to build our business. The question here is brand. You right. know, with a change in management, how does that brand uh, conduct itself? How does it work? within the market? Does it have to have allies? Ellison was an ally of heard at uh, HP. How does that affect the business? That's left to be seen in terms of what kind of, you know, how that could impact the company. All right, so we'll see how that plays out. Two other tech companies we're watching so closely, Apple and Google. These are brands that everybody seems to just love. Apple in particular, they've really diversified, though, as a company. Um, how do you think they've been able to kind of really maintain their brand image so well as they have gone through this diversification process? Yeah, we've, we've talked about that. To me, uh, Steve Jobs is amazing. Even last night, I think, came out with the rules for his apps. You know, how do the apps work? Right. Who, what will he accept, not accept? And I think it's all part of how he views his customer, his tribe, and how he's going to do the right thing by them, how he's going to create and innovate, how he's going to bring new technology for it. That is how he can challenge Google and how he can keep Google on the side. Google, they're both great companies. Smartphone business in total goes up. Right. Google does its thing. It's a different thing. They're playing in the clouds. They have all of us. They know all of our information. Tough competitors. Editor. But he's going to be consistent, and he's going to do things that are right for his customer. I think Google is a little broader in terms of how they think about their brand. They're going to have a tougher time keeping their brand image up there? I think keeping control of their brand image. I mm -hmm. think as they even license out Android to other people, as they make, they don't make the product. So being a hard goods company at this point, right. you know, a Apple, they control from the experience, from the moment you walk in the store to the end use. And again, they have to keep innovating. Google is going through other means to get there, but we all love Google and we know right. Google. We're comfortable with Google. We're addicted to Google. So it, it becomes somewhat of an advantage. But I'm thinking Steve Jobs is going to keep working at it and innovating and figuring out ways. And so Mark. Share. Jay, when it comes to brands in the tech world, is it kind of Apple and Google versus everybody else? Would you buy an HP or a Dell um, phone? Would, would, you know, would, would, and new iPads will come out from other people, but Apple did it. Right. Um, I think he's owning um, uh, creativity. He's owning fun. And I think that's a part of it. I think Google will come at it slightly differently. Got a few seconds left here. Fashion night tonight. I've seen it all in the papers here in New York. How is the fashion industry really kind of adapting to the tough economic environment? Well, thank you so much for asking the question. Because I think Anna Wintour and all the people in the fashion industry are owed uh, a lot for having this night. It's a, a new ex an experience for the consumer, getting them in the stores, getting them to shop, recognizing that that is part of stimulating the economy, getting people back in. Right. You can now go to Bloomingdale's, Macy's, et cetera, and shop and see what's there for the season. Right. It's football season. It's back to buying your cashmere sweaters. It's back to getting out there. I'm uh, ready. So the timing is perfect. And I think that I think the industry needs that boost. I think it is no different, again, than right. putting the two together, the Apple experience. What what did that, what does that do for you? Store okay. experiences are the same thing. We got to run. I'm, like I said, I'm ready to shop. Jay, thank you so much. Thank you, Carol. Jay Margolis.